Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. We're on this uh, late August day here. It's a beautiful day. And we're back at this house again to do some more work. We actually have uh, done a lot of work at this house. We've changed basement windows, installed a high efficiency heating system, a high efficiency air conditioning system. We have waterproofed the basement. And now we're gonna take the next step, which is up on the second floor, insulating cathedral ceilings. A cathedral ceiling is one where the roofing is on top of the rafters and the drywall or plaster ceiling is on the bottom of the same piece of timber. So you only have, if it's a two by eight, eight inches, if it's a two by 10, 10 inches of space in between a roof that could be 155 degrees in the summertime and of course freezing cold in the wintertime and uh, in the interior. So there's not a lot of space for insulation. To make things worse, typically these roofs are vented, although this is an old bungalow and uh, it's not a vented roof, but we don't have a lot of space for insulation and old fiberglass insulation that air can uh, pass through uh, is really a poor insulation to protect the, the room underneath it. So cathedral ceilings all over America are really a difficult challenge. But with what we're gonna do today, we can solve this problem. Here we are in the front room of this home and the homeowner uh, was complaining that this room is too hot in the summer and too cold in the winter. And we can see we have cathedral ceilings here and these ceilings are typically not insulated properly and we have uh, ventilation and so forth uh, running through the rafter bays and that uh, wind washes the insulation that's there. So what we're going to do is insulate this ceiling. Well, we have some challenges in that uh, there's no attic above here, obviously. So we have to get insulation inside the ceiling without ripping down all of the uh, plaster or drywall that's on the ceiling. Now, there's several methods that could be used to do that, and some are more invasive than others. Uh, there's some that could be done from the roof level. Um, but here, what we're going to do is polyurethane injection foam. And we're going to drill a series of small holes and inject polyurethane foam, open cell, inside these rafter bays and check its progress with a thermal imaging camera because it generates heat as it expands and fill up the entire ceiling, which will air seal and insulate the roof and make a big difference for this homeowner. The process begins with drilling holes into the cathedral ceiling to access the rafter bays. Now you'll see that these are actually very small holes and yes, patching and painting will have to be done after this process is complete. Our crew is using the same spray gun that we would use to spray foam in open cavities and the same truck and uh, hose that comes along with all that. But instead of a spray tip, we have a <coughs> injection tube, the tube goes into the holes, down into the cavity, polyurethane foam is injected, in this case open cell, polyurethane foam is injected into the cavities, and we time how many seconds we're uh, injecting that foam into those cavities. And then we let that expand in the cavities, and with a thermal imaging camera, we can tell, because of the heat that's generated when the, the foam reacts in the cavity, we can see it through the plaster, and we can tell how thoroughly we have filled the cavity and where we need to drill our next set of holes. Okay, we're done here. We've drilled our holes at strategic locations to fill these cavities with foam and the entire ceiling and roof assembly is full of foam now and would be very resistant to the heat from the roof. And of course, in the winter time, uh, this room will be a lot warmer as well. If you'd like to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient, Call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.